Blake came in and, and I talked to him yesterday a little bit. Um, uh, he's he's a little homesick, I think, and, and uh, want, wants to be a little bit closer to his family. Um, I told him to take a night and think about it. I, I gave him off meetings last night in this morning's practice. He came back in again. I met with him after the morning practice today, and we talked the whole thing through, and, and uh, he said he would like to get closer to home. And, um, you know, we granted him his release. I wish him the best. Uh, told him we'll assist him in any manner possible, and he can be released to any school he wants to. So uh, really what he expressed to me is that he wanted to be closer to his nana, which is his grandmother, and he'd like to be closer to home. So. Why do you think he, do you think he struggled in, in his time here? And, and if so, no, I think Blake wants to be closer to his grandmother. So that's what he wants. It's a family decision, and that's why he went home. Had he progressed to the level that you wanted him to in his year plus here? Yes. Get closer to nailing down some of those rotations. I'm not talking starters, but just, you know, Nick talks about getting 20, 21 guys on defense. Yeah, we still got about another three more days of just rotating the way we are, and then we'll start kind of locking into position, so. Are you disappointed at all that he, he decided to transfer? No. I, I mean, everybody, you get 105 guys on every team, and there's always attrition one way or another. And some guys stay, some guys go. And it's, you know, I know Tony Dungy talked about it when he spoke with our team, is that when his, his coach, when he was in college, talked about it, there was a picture of 25 freshmen. And then when they were seniors, there was only 10 of them. Where do those 15 guys go? And that's just, un unfortunately, it's a natural progression. Some guys, it's injuries. Uh, some guys, it's academics. Some guys, it's that. But that's, you know, very rarely do the, does an entire recruiting class make it from when they were all recruited and signed on February of whatever year they were signed all the way through to graduation. And, it, you know, it's unfortunate when anybody leaves, but th that's part of what we, we all deal with here, so. Did it change your thinking about redshirting some of the... Some of the that has things? nothing to do with redshirting, so. Fair to say you feel pretty good about your depth positions though? No, we still got a work in progress. You know, the only thing we got is two proven guys in the Michael and Kenyon, so. And again, you're never going to know with anybody until you put them in a game. And there are some kids you put in a game, and you're like, wow. And then other times you're like, geez, he looked a lot better in practice. So you're never going to know until, until you get to that situation. So. How satisfied are you with, with the defense progress? You know, what? Well, the biggest thing for those guys in, in like anything we're looking for is effort. And, and I really like their effort so far. Today was a good hot day, which was good. It was a good test for them. You know, when we, we sparred in that second team period where we rotate the offense against them, but they stay on the field for 10 straight plays, which may happen in the game, you're going to get a 10-play drive. And I thought they did a real nice job with it, you know, and, and uh, we'll come back and flip it, and the offense will stay on for 10, and then the defense will sw switch on them on, uh, on Monday in that sparring session. But um, I'm, I'm pleased where they are right now. we got a couple kids with nicks and bumps and bruises, which I don't think are real serious. Um, and most of those guys should all be back on Monday, and we're excited to kind of see as everything fits in here because we're starting to get closer and closer. Two weeks from today, we're playing a game. So. Between that and the three-on-three three drill early and the special teams going live a little bit, particularly physical practice? Yeah. You know, and that's what our goal was today. It was a, it was a second of the padded practices. We know we're not going to practice tomorrow. We'll meet as a team, but we won't practice tomorrow. So that you know, that was kind of our goal: throwing three on three in there. Uh, Maz needed to get some green ball, one on one, good work, one punt return versus one punt, live tackling, and some of those things. And those are things you got to accomplish. And, and I think you got to be smart with them. You can't go an entire practice because we don't want to. We can't afford to lose anybody to, to injury. But we also there's a certain amount of physicality that you have to have in practice. And we'll go in and look at the tape. But uh, you know, I, I was pleased with what I saw on the field. Now we got to make some corrections. Especially Especially technique-wise, and that's the big thing. It's it's the attention to the details right now is the important thing for us. So. You're halfway through fall camp. Are you happy with how the first two weeks have gone? I love the weather. It's been beautiful. So anybody wants a vacation in Oregon, that's the best place to be. So, um, and I love our kids' effort. So weather and effort, I give them both an A. How about? how everything's coming together, skill -wise. It's coming together. It's coming together. It's a work in progress. And I'll be honest with you, in my attitude, I'll never be satisfied. So, And I don't think our players are ever satisfied either. But you know, the one thing we talk about is effort, and, and I think we're getting that effort, and that's what I'm really happy with. Ranked third by the AP preseason. Care at all about that? Yeah, we're going to have a party tonight. <laughs> 9 30 every meet us in the cast everybody will be here if the lights are off it's just a surprise party so we'll let you in okay so